What up, Hyde? What up, Rake? All right, welcome to Teaching Off the Books. Welcome. Okay, well, today we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to do a new thing called agree and disagree. Okay. So we've got some statements here, um, and that we're going to either agree with them or disagree, and we're going to debate about it. Okay, cool. What are these statements uh, about? What's the theme here? Well, the theme here is really anything in regards to teaching. It mm -hmm. literally could be anything. I don't know what he has. He doesn't know what I have. So we're just kind of just wing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't you go first? Okay. What got? So the first statement, do you agree or disagree with this? If teachers are good at what they do, student grades and test scores will be good too. Now let me repeat that. Please if teachers do. are good at what they do, mm -hmm. then the students' grades and test scores will be good also. Do you agree or do you disagree? Um... Well, what is what is good? I mean, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I good? think I think so. The second part of that was teacher students' grades and test scores will be good also. Mm -hmm. So I think you know you have objectively good, which I would imagine on test scores would be that they have mastered the standard. Okay. Right? But then you also have like uh, growth, mm -hmm. right? So. But I think if, what was the first part? If teachers, if teachers are, are good at what they, they do, do, student grades and test scores will basically be good as well. Yeah, I agree with that, generally. Generally is, yeah. what do you mean? What's well, the other part of it, though? Well, You're like, generally, yeah. yeah so yeah, what well, is the other, on the other hand? I have the other on hand. Okay, there's always exceptions, there right? There are, like so, what? So... Sometimes kids are just, they're just not about that life. You know, they don't want to uh, get good. They don't want to get good test scores. They don't want to get good grades. It's not important to them. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. What so. are you holding it over there? <laughs> just fucking let it out. Okay. So, hmm. well, you kind of like, you kind of contradicted yourself there because there are kids out there that you could have a freaking amazing teacher, but you yeah. could still have a kid come to school and be hungry and scared okay. and come from, you know, a place of... You know, there's no electricity in my house and things like that. So it's like I could be really, really good. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like it's going to take that kid to be responsible for himself. A hundred percent. I agree with that. And that's why I was saying generally speaking, I think if uh, and I think this shows true in real life that, mm -hmm. you know, most of your kids do pretty good. Right. Most of them. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Most of them at least show some growth, improvement on test scores and um, you know, how, like, do a lot of kids fail your class? No, no, they don't. However, I have had kids say to me, like, um, you know, I totally bombed the FSA. I didn't feel good that day, or I felt like I was going to get sick, or, you know, I didn't have a good day. My girlfriend broke up with me. And over the course of the last six years, I've had to explain, like, the test does not have emotions. It could Doesn't give two care. shits about you and your girlfriend or you and your boyfriend. So you suck it up for those four hours and then you cry about it later. Well, that and that's kind of just the tough reality that I have to give them. The test doesn't care. I say that, uh, I tell my kids a lot of the world, the world does not care. So oh, like, that's true too. And when you <laughs> that's go, a little scarier <laughs> slash darker. It is, it is. But so like, you know, a lot of, as, as a teacher, mm -hmm. I feel like, I'm here to support kids. I'm in school to support kids. Yeah. You know, uh, give them what they need, help them out when they need help, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. Yeah. So, um, just out you're there. Just, well, you're there to support them. So, like, if you're there to support them, then you're going to hope that they do pass your class and that they do do well because you're their constant support. So, they might do good in your class because you're the one that's, you know, really pushing them. Maybe that's what you're oh, saying. What I was oh, getting okay, at here we is, go. It's back now. All right, Yay. I got it. So the world doesn't care. Mm -hmm. When you're in school, teachers care. Administrators care. Right. So I and the, there's a lot of kids that have said things like you don't care about me or they don't care about me or the school right, doesn't care true. about me. Mm -hmm. But we do care. And yeah. I don't think they realize what caring looks like a lot of times cuz oh. for a lot of them it's like, you know, you're like you're being hard on them. You're trying to hold them accountable. True. And you're doing that because you care, because you want them to be a better person, and you want them to be able to mm -hmm. go out into the world yeah. and survive. Mm -hmm. um, so when they're in high school, they have all these teachers that care. But, like, when you go out into the world, like, nobody gives a fuck. Like, mm -hmm. like, you're, in con well, like you're the one in control now. Like, it's, right. You're an adult. And also, and also, I think that, uh, like, 
people people won't go out of the way to tell you that you're fucking up. Like when you're a grown up, yeah. they're just kind of like, oh, that guy's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you they know, and they, they leave. They don't That's tell it. You how to fix yourself. Right? They don't. They're not like, hey, man, it would yeah. really, it would really, you know, you would do a, a lot better. A good boss would do that. A good boss would do no, that. No, you're right. You're right. You know, it'd and be better are, if you could do this or that. For sure, and you get certain relationships where you know people do do yeah. things like that, but for the most part, like nobody's look. You know, mm-hmm. people are just gonna let you fuck up. True, and, and then away. you're gonna get fired. Yeah. So yeah, so. I think, you know, it's a double-edged sword. Like, if you have a good teacher, yeah, they're going to do everything to support you, but at the end of the day, it's like your, it's your choice to try or not try on a test or in a class, you know? You're the only, you're, mm-hmm. you're the only one that's responsible right. for your life. All right, what's one of your statements? Let's All hear right, it. let's see. I got, um, teachers are creative and original. No teachers do things exactly alike. Even when they use another teacher's ideas, they often put their own spin on them. Okay. Teachers are creative, basically, is what that's saying. Even if they're using someone else's and lesson, original. they put their right, own right. spin on it. Yeah. Mm, I disagree. Go on. Okay. <laughs> where to begin? Okay. There have been so many times where in, like, my PLC, there's, like, four of us. So it's Wait, like, what's okay, a PLC? A PLC is a planned learning community. Mm-hmm. And during this time, you meet with the people that teach the same things as you and you guys collaborate. You are supposed to collaborate and work together like, hey, like, what should we do here? Like, what assessments should we have and whatever? And it's always been, well, Miss Rake, you've taught it longer than I have. You make the lesson this week. I'll do it next week. You know, I'll do it the next week and, you know, you do it the next week. So it's like, okay, yeah, let's uh, let's separate the work. But like my lesson is all, I'm just going to say it, is always better. <laughs> oh, boy. Or, like, they're not putting as much effort into it as I would. Okay. So it's like, okay, well, everyone has their own definition of creativity. And some teachers, honestly, are, just want you to hand things to them. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, well, you do that. You know, here's a here's an article that I did last week. Great, I'll just do it today, you know? And, like, there's sure. no, nothing. There's no spin on it. Like, that's a very good point. For some teachers. Yeah. Like, and I did this, so here's an article. Oh, I'll just do it today. Like, and that's a funny thing. Reading over these statements, I keep thinking like, uh, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes not. Right? Yeah. And these, and I do know, I am familiar, yeah. I am familiar <laughs> with uh, teachers who, ha- who are just kind of like, just give it, just give just give it to me. Like, yeah. I don't want to like, so for, for English teacher springboard is a thing that, uh, it's a curriculum that, that we have. Mm-hmm. And I've heard a lot of English teachers say, I don't like springboard. Everything is, it just tells mm-hmm. you what to do and you have to just do it. Right. Stick to the, stick to the script. Mm-hmm. I, I coached with a guy who taught English and he was like, don't tell anybody, but I like springboard. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, Cause it's all right there. Well, it's done for you. Right. And I think this statement about teachers are creative. And this is, this is a fascinating thing when you think about it, because Mm -hmm. so, so when we talk, when people, regular, normal, everyday people talk about teachers, Mm -hmm. I find it fascinating because everyone talks about teachers like, oh, they deserve so much respect and they, you know, they're doing such a valuable service, et cetera, et cetera. But in practice, I don't feel that vibe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't get that from parents, et cetera, Oh, okay, et yes. Okay, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, okay. I thought you were saying, like, that's how I feel. I was like, wait oh, a no, second. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait no, a but, Okay, yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't feel that when I'm interacting with other people in the community. Mm-hmm. Um, but – and there's also – there's two types of teachers. There are some teachers that are 100% original and creative. Yeah. And they're always putting their own little this or that Spin onto on a lesson. Yeah. <clears throat> but there are teachers who are just kind of like, just give it. Just, just yeah. tell me what to do. Give me the script. I'll mm-hmm. read it. I'll teach it. Um, I think something to, should be said about the script, though. Like, if you're coming in brand new, it is sure. nice to it have something. Value. Yes, it is nice to have something already created that you can – that you can manipulate and make it your own. Right. So I think that's important. But like there definitely are some teachers that are just like, 
Oh, I don't even know what I'm teaching today. Like, what did you do? What are you doing? And I'm like, wait a second. I <laughs> it's can't, 820. I can't walk into my classroom and not know what I'm doing. And no. there's too many teachers that I've witnessed. And I'm just like, how the hell are you still here? And why the hell are you still here? Because clearly there's some sort of disconnect. But but yeah, I kind of get her involved. <laughs> Pause for one moment. You can end okay. Mila. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, the next one is teachers enjoy collaboration, bouncing ideas, and best practices off each other and supporting each other. So this is another one of these things that kind of, uh, it depends, right? Mm, so, mm, do you agree or disagree? I'm, I'm not, I don't know yet. I have to talk through it first. <laughs> <laughs> so you have, uh, I think that, I think that is true for teachers who are on the same wavelength. Okay. So what I mean by wavelength is um, some teachers are really uh, excited about creating new lessons or trying new things right. mm -hmm. or hearing about what their colleagues are doing, what is working, what is not yeah. working, how might you apply their techniques to your classroom, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And I think it's especially when you're on the same wavelength as another teacher, it works especially well. Uh -huh. Maybe you have similar classes, maybe you have similar personalities or teaching styles. Right. But whatever it may be, that translates well to your room. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And I think there are times when teachers are not on the same wavelength. So you can have two reasons why they're not on the same wavelength. Okay. You can have their classes are completely different their students are completely different mm -hmm. so one thing that works in one class won't work in the other true or you can have teachers that are like mm -hmm. not uh they're, they just don't have the same like teaching style yeah so like this teacher loves powerpoints this one just likes lecturing like there's yeah. no like strategy that's going to support them both yeah but i think it's a valuable a valuable thing to talk to other teachers and figure out um not even like what's working, but what are they doing? Right. Because I think as a job in general, we're very mm -hmm. isolated. We're yes. in our own room. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's going on in other people's True. room. Um, so for a lot of it, we're all out on our own. Mm -hmm. I've definitely gone way away from the statement. So no, you haven't. I, Teachers I enjoy know. collaboration, bouncing ideas and best practices of each other, supporting each other. Um, I mean, I agree with you. Like, I think that some teachers like enjoy that, like, camaraderie slash collaboration yeah, yeah. I definitely enjoy it because I like I like to learn so I know that's yeah. what, it's so weird <laughs> but like I like to be like oh my god like let me try that yes I don't think I do that very often I don't think I do that enough why is that because there's no time like Friday morning PLC like that's the only time I'm like okay like what are you doing yeah. with your kids but it's different for me i'm the only person that teaches what i teach that's what's that's something that's fucked me up because i teach tv production i'm the only teacher in the school that right. teaches that and there is no one that i can well what about really people from other to. schools like what can you collaborate I mean, no no and i talk to again them. that's time consuming slash it is email. and we share we have like uh <clears throat> like an email email conference like uh group chat type of thing yeah. and we share ideas and stuff and that's yeah. good uh, but it's also different because those teachers are at different schools. So you have to, you have to take into account, like, is this teacher at a similar school right. to me? Are this teacher's students similar to same. my students? Right. Um, so it's really, it's really tough. <laughs> we just got to introduce Mila. This is Mila. Mila's the um, dog. She is my dog and she has a crazy hour at eight o'clock. So. This is when she wants to play, so she's decided to get every toy <laughs> that she owns and squeak it while we're trying to talk. What kind of dog is she? Uh, she is a Rottweiler Lab Mix, oh, and man. she's ready to play. So I'm going to, you know, put this up. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, okay, I hope that she doesn't get it again. I'm literally, my refrigerator is collecting toys at the moment. Okay, sorry. All right, no worries. Mila. Thanks, yeah. Mila. Thanks, Mila. She is so cute, though. What if you just scratch mm -hmm. her heads constantly? I'm just going to try and just pet right. her the whole okay. time. Um, but yeah, so back to teachers enjoying collabor collaboration. So, I go. disagree because some teachers don't want to talk to anyone. They like their bubble and whatever they've been doing for the last 20 years is what they're doing and they're not going to change. 
let's say this. Would you consider your, what about for you? Is that true for you? No, because I like collaborating. No, well, okay, so the mean? statement is true for you. Yeah, I enjoy um, collaboration. How but about this? Have you ever been forced to collaborate with someone who's not about that life? Um, yes. What, how's that go? Well, it's like, I'm trying to help you, or like, I'm trying, or it's like, a, it's like one-ended. Like, hey, like, this uh, is what I'm doing, what are you doing? Hmm. Whatever you're doing. And I'm just like, well, what are you doing that's worked in your classroom? I don't know, like, nothing's working, and I'm like, okay, like, you're clearly not going to help me. Like, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not trying to collaborate with people who... Are not on your level. Are not on my level. Because all it's all I'm doing is giving, 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 giving. And I'm not learning, 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 learning. How about this? I like helping, but I, I gonna, need something. So how about this? So there is a certain sense of satisfaction that you get from giving your students skills and watching them succeed, right? Yeah. Do you get that same satisfaction from with teachers yeah I totally love helping especially new teachers because yeah. I wish I would have had more support as a first year teacher I know you were there for me it was like super great and everything but like academically like <laughs> like you were there for me like like mentally I was like yeah. dude I'm gonna lose my mind and now you're like it's fine like just chill yeah. like it's okay and I but like academically I didn't I, have yeah. any toolkit to sure. like teach and no one like really supported me in that aspect so I had to like search and there were other teachers in the school that like could have helped you could have helped me and I was willing I just didn't really know right. a lot of people yeah. and was well, that I mean we talked about that before about asking for help it's very difficult so yeah when, when you were a first year teacher did you not want to ask for help or? no I I did you just didn't get it no I asked for help it's just like the feedback I was getting especially from our terrible 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 reading coach at the time like it wasn't, it wasn't good feedback. And I was like, okay, this isn't productive. Like, this isn't what helping she, what me. What kind of things was she telling you? Was she, oh, you're doing a great just job. Just read the script. Oh. Just read the book. Miss mm. Ricky just tells you what to do. Just read the book. And I'm like, no, that's not, that's not, no. I knew, I knew early on that that's not what I was going to do as a teacher. Right. So, yeah, collaborating, great. I love it. I think the majority of teachers like that. I think if you're a new teacher, it's hard to collaborate because you don't have a toolkit yet. Yeah. So if you are a veteran teacher, then your job is to really support them. And that's okay because yeah. they'll learn and develop too. So, All right. Let's Next see. statement. I have uh, teachers do have favorites. They may not come out and say it, but there are those students for whatever reason with whom they have a natural connection. Hmm. Am what I going? Think? Yeah. Yeah, we have favorites. Yeah, for sure. Right, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be straight. So, what do you think? Um, what do you think makes a student your favorite? I think it's the connection that you have with yeah. them. Like, I can think of a student right now, and like, I feel like she's like my daughter that I'll never have. Yeah. You know, like her and I are just like super in tune with each other. Like, I just feel like I've I've also taught her for the last two years, so like we just have a good relationship. We know each other really well. For sure. So you just have those kids that like you just really get along with and they really I think they respect you yeah. and you respect them and you just have that mutual understanding. I don't know, just like it's just like a mutual like respect and just like you just get to have a connection, you know? Yeah, I do I know, know what you mean and I have uh it's funny. Are your favorite students always the students who get good grades? No. That's crazy, right? No. It's, and you know what's funny is my parents are always like, is he the, is he one of the ones that gives you shit? And you're like, no. Or he's, she. He's great. I'm uh, always like, yeah, God, they're so fucking annoying. And they're like, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, because they have the most potential. Uh, like, and, and like, they don't see it. And that's what makes us like this is because... You know, you want that. You see what they can do, what they're capable of. Yeah. And yeah. then you make that relationship and then all of a sudden they just bloom. Blossom, yeah. And it's like, and then you just have that kid and you know, it's, it's just cool to see. It it's definitely never is. the good. It's not never, but it's normally not the best kids. Yeah. It's and it's not, I, I have found, um, <clears throat> like, so that student who who started the rumor that I was her father oh, is yeah. like she's like she says things that are like you know like I'm his favorite student and I'm like mm -hmm. I got to be like no I don't have favorite students right. et cetera et cetera and but it's not 
And now, even now, I don't want to say that she's my favorite student because... Well, yeah, because you're not trying to hurt everyone else's feelings. Right. And I would never say that in front of a whole group of kids. Sure. But I, it's... Some kids do more than other kids. And, like, for me, I'm trying to run a program. She puts in way, you know, a huge wow. amount of effort after school, mm -hmm. um, after hours. Like, right. she, she really is dedicated to the right. program. And she puts in a lot of work. And um, other... It's like... Well, and you have something in common too. Like you like doing that shit. Right. So you like right. doing it, you know. Yeah, and um, but a lot of times, some of the kids that I miss the most when they're gone, or that I look the most forward to seeing, mm -hmm. are like funny kids. Yeah. Or like you know, like they have a great personality. Like I've had kids that had. Mm -hmm. I had this one kid who. Yeah, he he uh, his grades were not great, mm -hmm. and he but like. He had this personality that was like he was a jokester. Yeah. And he, you know, he was one of those kids that I felt like, man, like, and I had him as a reading student. So I was like, once he gets out there, he's going to be fine. He's going to be like a salesman right. or, you know, something. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be fine because he had, he has that personality. Charismatic. He has the personality. Um, and he's <laughs> like fun to be around. Like, right. Even if it's just, and, a lot of these kids have given me a lot of shit while I'm trying to teach. But right. It's, it's they're funny, you know. Right. Yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. no way, no getting That's around true. it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think teachers have favorites. Are we ever going to tell our kids that we do? No. no. Are we going to treat every kid the same? Yes. Like. Well, that's another thing is, particularly this one girl I'm thinking about. It. She's tried to like get me to give her some leeway on some shit, mm -mm. and I'm like, no. No. Yeah, and they're like, Miss, but, but you know, you love me and whatever, and I'm right. just like, listen, yeah, I love all you guys, but yeah. you're not going to take, you know, our relationship and our rapport for granted. Absolutely not. Right. They can't push you around. They use that to, like, They do, and that's, try to get uh, you. Uh, mm -mm. and I remember one time <clears throat> specifically, I think it was a, a tardy situation, and mm -hmm. I was like, no, you have to go get a tardy pass. Yeah. And the thing about those situations is, in my head, I'm kind of like, okay, like you do a lot of shit, uh, and I'm, I'm like, I, I almost feel bad. Like, yeah, but it's. I want to say, you know what? Don't worry about it. But all those, all the other students are watching, right? And they're gonna see, and it's like, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm sorry, but you gotta go do. You know, if it was another kid, it would be as the, the same other thing. Students, yeah, right? exactly. Yes. True. All right. Is it mine or yours? You good. All right. The next statement is. That teachers become frustrated with educators who lack professionalism and are not in the field for the right reasons. Yeah, I think that's true. Um, I also think, though, <clears throat> and I think frustration is something that goes hand in hand with teaching. Mm -hmm. But, like, in a situation like that, um, I just walk away from those teachers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true. I, I throw a teacher tantrum. <laughs> I'm going to be real. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, I do. I get I get really pissy with the educators that aren't doing, like, what they're supposed to be doing. And, honestly, I do get really upset when teachers are not teachers for the right reasons. Like, um, I have been in conversations with teachers that are like, yeah, I just need a paycheck. Or, you know, and that's fine if that's – that's not fine. But um, – <laughs> I'm At least sorry. You know where that, they stand. Yeah, I'm sorry yeah, that yeah. you're in that position. However, uh, teaching isn't the greatest paycheck you're gonna have, but at least you have one. Uh, I just feel like if you're not in teaching for the right reasons, you're not gonna be successful at it, and the kids are gonna suffer because you have number one, you have to like kids. They're, they can tell, and right? the kid, yeah, the kids can totally tell, like when you don't want to be there, and like if you don't have, if you don't want to be there, like you don't want to be a teacher, you're just there. You're, it's just going to crumble in front of you. And the rest of us know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's be real. Yeah. Uh, we know who you are, and we feel bad for your students. Because <laughs> they I, talk shit about you yeah. all day long. And it's just like, I just, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I get, I, I get all weird about this one because yeah. it does frustrate me. It really does. Like, you're not here to just pay off some debt or some student loans. Like, these are human beings that you're impacting every single day. And yeah. if you're just here to show up and show face, like, that's not okay with me. No. And I'm going to tell you. Yeah. 
All right. Well, at least they'll know. And I think... Uh, <laughs> they normally know. <laughs> You're right. Right off the bat. Um, and I think... Uh, <clears throat> I think that's one of the benefits of, of being a teacher and like kind of like being in your own world is mm-hmm. like if you want to interact with them, if you don't yeah. want to interact with them, you don't have to. Right. But there are situations where you're in a meeting like a PLC or something mm-hmm. and like there's this like dead weight that's just kind of dragging yeah. the boat down. Because you know they don't want to be there. Yeah. yeah. So it's like even whatever I give you or anything I say to motivate you is like not going to help because like you yeah. don't want to be here. And even like – I don't know. I just feel like teaching is something that uh, I feel like chooses you or that you choose for a certain reason, not just like a paycheck or, you know, whatever, because there's so much more involved in it. And like I can tell you a story super fast about this kid who shadowed me this year. Uh, He shadowed you. What do you mean shadowed you? Or what? Oh, so he was in a, a college program okay. and his undergrad was in math and then he did his master's <gasps> in education. And Mila has something to say about that too. And um, his master's was in education and then his PhD, he was going to do his PhD in education. How old was he? Uh, he's like about uh, 26, maybe okay, 27. All right, all right. And I was like, have you ever taught before? And he said, no. I said, you've never taught. Well, he's like, oh, so I did my internship. PhD, I did my practicum. PhD, he did his bachelor's in math, his um, master's in, reading, his master's in teaching, education. In and his, he's doing his PhD. No, wait, is it business? I don't remember. But he's doing his PhD in education. He did math and business as undergrad and master's. And now his PhD what is in education. Um, well, here we go. So, P- so anyway, he has never taught students ever. And now he's doing his PhD in education. So I'm like, okay, you did math, business, and now you're doing education. I was like, yo, have you ever taught? No. Okay, um, what makes you think, why do you want to do education? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> I, go, I go, well, you know, you've been in school for what, like seven years? Like, what the fuck are you doing with your life? And I was like, um, so what do you think you're going to do with this degree? And he goes, I don't know, I guess I'll just be a principal. <laughs> I looked at him. I think I lost all of my marbles. He has the wrong degree, right? You can't be a principal with a PhD in education. You got to have uh, ed leadership, right? Well, that's what his PhD was in, his ed leadership. Oh. Which is confusing to me. But anyway, so I was like, okay. I was like, honey, I'm going to give you a reality check. I was like, you can't just be a principal. <laughs> like, and the thing is, he, he knew a colleague that... Like, that's how he shadowed me. It was because I knew someone. Somebody. He knew someone who yeah, knew me. Yeah, yeah. So I wasn't trying to offend this person who told him about me. So I was like, honey, you can't... And, like, I'm acting like he's 19. I'm like, you can't just be a principal. That doesn't just fucking happen. Like, I'm going to school right now to be a principal. Right. But I've also taught for six right. years. Like, I was like, you know what? what you, you you teach my seventh period. Here's the lesson. Ooh. Here's the PowerPoint. Teach my, teach, teach my seventh period. How'd it go? He literally sat there all day and was like dumbfounded. Like after every single period, he's like, oh my God, you do so much. Oh my God. Like you do so much. And I was like, honey, that's not, I'm not even skimming the I'm surface. I'm not even doing anything today. This is a regular ass day, bitch. It was a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing something. I was like. But there's people out there like him that right. think that they ch- can just be teachers yeah. or just, I'll just, you know, I'll just be a principal, you know, <laughs> I'll just run a school. I'm like, I'm going to fucking murder this child. <laughs> like right now in my classroom, straight up murder. Oh, uh, so how long did you, uh, how long were you involved with him? He <laughs> was, he was there the entire, he came twice. He came for two full days and he's, and he straight up told me, he's like, I've learned so much from you. Like, I really appreciate it. And I had to sign like this paper, but he was supposed to like do some shit like not just observe and i didn't know that until i signed the paperwork so i was a little pissed yeah Yeah. so i i i should have written something different but i didn't know i just wrote like he observed you know seven classes or whatever but yeah you know that still fucking irks me to this day i'm just gonna be a principal i'm just gonna be a teacher where do you You think that guy is now well he's probably gonna graduate he's probably well he's probably gonna do his internship like his practicum and he's probably going to drop out. <laughs> if you've never... And I was like, do you like kids? He's like, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't know kids. I was like, which grade level would you want? Yeah. He was like, mm, I don't know. I was like, honey, you ain't no shit. Well, I think, I think, I think some people think they like kids. 
but they, you know, they don't really know a lot of kids. Um, yeah. And it's not, all yeah. kids are not created equally. No, they're not. <laughs> but yeah, I just, that, that just, that, uh, I can't, I can't even think about it. It makes me so mad. If you know someone like that uh, and you feel the same way, you let me know because I need someone to talk to about it. Yeah. <laughs> I do. You know how many people I called after that? I was like, guess what happened? <laughs> this motherfucker I was like, this dude, thought this, he was this, just going to be a principal. principal. <laughs> I mean, educators know that's, that can't happen. I, I don't even remember his name because, you know, in like 10 years, I want to know where he's yeah, at. Look him up. <laughs> he's probably going to start like his own fucking test prep like uh, company. Which you can Whatever. make a very good living at and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> moving on next, All right, sec- next, next statement one. here's mm-hmm. what I got All right, uh, teachers do not always get along with each other they may have personality conflicts or disagreements that fuel a mutual dislike just as in any profession yeah mm-hmm. Yeah. have you ever had a personality conflict <laughs> <laughs> is that a question Please share a story. I mean, I don't even remember a day where I didn't have a personality conflict. Well, well how about this? Have I you don't had go out of my way to fight with people, by the way. I'm just gonna put that out there. But if it happens, you're fucking ready. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Uh so have you ever had have you ever and I think again it's there a lot of this has to do with like who are you forced to work with or be around? Because there, we ha- I feel like we have a lot of leeway of mm. who we get to associate with. And well, you do, I do. It, who doesn't? Well, like if you're in the if you're in the English department, you have to so you're you're mostly associating with them. Yeah. If you're in the science department, you're associating with them. Like okay. that's your ins and outs. That's your daily daily visibility, right. especially because we're all put in different the same hallways as the people yeah. that teach the same thing as us. Besides me, I'm like in you know dungeon land. But um, all by myself, which is fine. But uh, <clears throat> so I feel like in that instance, maybe not. Okay. But you still work with people within your department that you don't like. Well, think about this. So how much, because we all have, I feel like we all have like teachers that we go to. So yes. like talk to and like, mm-hmm. and that maybe not every day, but it's like, Oh man, I haven't talked to so and so in a while. Like, right. We need to catch up mm-hmm. just to see what's going on. Right. You know, talk about what's going on in school, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there are also people where you're like, I'm not gonna unless I have to. I'm not gonna talk to that person like at all. <laughs> so I think it. A lot of it has to do with these conflicts come when people are forced to be together. But that goes back to professionalism. Like, it I does, cannot right. like yeah. you, but I'm still going to be professional. Sure. Un- until you say something. And then. And then I'm going to be professional. Throat. But I'm going to say it in a not so. I'm going to say it in a professional way, but you're going to know that I'm not happy. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's uh, like, that's kind of how I roll. Uh, so, but at the end of the day. It's about the students. It's not right, about right, how I right. feel about you or how you feel about me. Yes. So that's kind of where my mindset goes. But a lot of times the conflicts that do that I do have with, with people is because they're not doing what's best for students. And that pisses me off. So I have to be like, that's not right. This needs to change. And they're like, no. And it's not that they're higher up than me. We're on an equal playing field. Yeah. You know? So... <clears throat> You're not doing what's best for kids. I'm going to come for you. That's just what's going to happen. I think and it's not if I like you or dislike you. It's you're not doing what's best for kids. And I think that's um, that's a very accurate description. Mm-hmm. And also like, and when you say doing best for kids, I don't even know if it's, I think it's just a matter of is your heart in the right place? Yes. Because, yeah. you know, like some, some teachers do stuff, myself included, do stuff that's mm-hmm. like... <laughs> Mila so, disagrees with you. She, she, I feel like that's all she does. <laughs> um, you're not doing what's best for kids, but it's yeah, just your heart's, on the, heart's right in the right place. Yeah. So like, so like, even me myself, like, I'll try some shit and I'll be like, that did not work. That mm-hmm. was not an effective use of time. Right, right. That did not do it. Go well, yeah. But I, you know, it's like I'm, I'm trying. So it's like it's not a matter of like. 
if you're trying to help, you know, if your heart's in the right place and mm-hmm. you're trying, I think you can get along with anybody. Even if you're, even if you're fucking up left and right, if you're like, oh shit, well that didn't work. Well, as Let long as you're this. like admitting it and right. reach, and and trying to get help, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and like yeah. reaching out again, the thing about reaching out, it's a big deal, and I think a lot of that resentment towards those teachers comes from the attitude of like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing a good job. Like, mm-hmm. I don't need to do what you're doing or whatever it may yeah, be. Yeah, like your pride, basically. Yeah. Pride right. is a huge is a huge thing. And yeah. I mean, I'm going to admit when I'm wrong, for it's sure. The, it it's sucks, so but like, effective. It's so helpful. It's easier. And it is. It Fuck, is. I fucked up. Okay, I'm going to do this differently. Right. And, and also, whatever. I think uh, if you say out loud that you're like fucking up or you're struggling... Nine times out of ten, there's three or four people that are like, hey, try this. Hey, I've been through that. Yeah. Check mm-hmm. this I get out. you. Yeah. This is what I did. For sure. And I think people respect that a lot. Just, you mm-hmm. know, willing to be vulnerable and say yeah. like, yeah, I don't I don't know what, mm-hmm. it's going, what I'm doing here. Or right. I need help. I yeah. need something better. Um, mm-hmm. So I think that's really where yeah. it comes from is I like think so too. teachers that don't want to try. Right. Yeah, definitely. So if you have any, um, you know, opinions about what we've talked about, please let us know because we'd love to hear what you think about it. Um, you know, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. That's fine. That's the whole point of this. Yeah. Or if you have things that you want to hear us talk about, let oh, yeah. us know. Mm-hmm. You can find us on Instagram at Teaching Off the Books. Our Gmail account is Teaching Off the Books at Gmail dot com, and our Twitter it is T O T D Pod. All right. Thanks for listening. Pencils down. Drinks up. Dang.